All right, this is the first chapter, Mass 70. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to practice plotting points. Okay, what this is called, this is called the Cartesian coordinate system. Kind of interesting history behind it if you want to do a little research on it. It was created by a French philosopher named René Descartes, who was also a um, mathematician. Coined the thought, I think, therefore I am. Okay, the Cartesian coordinate system is made of two axes. There's the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Okay? On our horizontal axis, this is where independent variable goes. This is our dependent variable. Okay? Now our independent var variable typically we call an x. Okay? Not always though. Sometimes it's something else. Sometimes it's a T, sometimes it's a Q, sometimes, it, well, it could be anything. But typically it's an X. Our dependent variable oops, is typically, typically called a Y. Okay? It doesn't have to be a Y, it could be anything. This is just kind of the standard. All right? When plotting a point, there are two pieces of information that we need. We need the horizontal coordinate and the vertical coordinate. Okay, and we use this all the time, such as latitude, longitude. Whenever you have a city, when you're looking up maps in the back of the phone book, you look at, it usually gives you a number, it gives you a letter. Okay, you're using a Cartesian coordinate system. Now, it's important to have a scale in your Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, in this case, I'll count by one. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now, notice I start from here. Okay, this point is the center. It's called the origin. Okay? It's the origin. This is where everything begins. Notice these lines, these axes, are 90 degrees apart. Okay? They're perpendicular. Let's finish the scale. So I started counting by ones. One, two, three, four, five. And I started from the origin. And I continue on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I can go as far as I need to go. But once I set the scale on one axis, I need to be consistent with that axis. So from the origin, I would start counting backwards. So it's just like a number line. So this would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. Okay? So notice how the scale is the same. Now, <clears throat> in my y coordinate system here, it can have its own scale. So instead of counting by ones here, I could instead count by twos. So I could go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 20. Okay? This would be 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 20. Okay? I could even count by tens if I wanted to. Okay? The scale on the y-axis does not have to be the same as the x-axis, but you need to be consistent on that individual axis. So if I start counting by 1s on the x-axis, I count by 1s everywhere. If I start counting by 2s on the y-axis, I count by 2 everywhere. Okay. Now, in a coordinate system, like I said, there's two points. We always put, okay, we have these things called an ordered pair. In an ordered pair, We always put our independent variable first. So in other words, the variable that's on our horizontal axis. So in our case, it would be x comma y. Now the x always comes first. Okay, so let's say I had these data points. I've got data point 2 comma 10. The data point negative, well, let's just go 2, sorry comma, negative 6, negative 3, comma, 8, and negative 4, comma, negative 16. Okay? I want to plot these four points on this xy coordinate system, or this Cartesian coordinate system. So what I do is, I start with the first one. I start with the x variable. See what x is. I go 1, 2. It's a 2. 
So I'm going to be here. Now I'm going to count up to where y is a 10. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And make my point. Okay? That point right there is that coordinate. 2, comma, 10. So what about 2, negative 6? Well, again, I go to where x is a 2. I go down to 2, 4, 6. Or y is a negative 6. So this is the point 2, comma, negative 6. Now, when you write these, you don't have to necessarily put this coordinate right next to that point because we can see that that's a 2, comma, negative 6. I'm just putting that in for us to see now. So the next point is negative 3, comma, 8. So I go 1, 2, 3, negative 3, 8, make my point, and make, oh, sorry, went the wrong way. 1, 2, 3, comma, 8. See, even I can make mistakes. And then the next one is negative 4, negative 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 16. So 2, 6.